Hey everybody, Jim Perry from Reach Stortville here. So this is the track at Stortville High School behind me. When I ran track and field here, I won a lot of races on this track. And I also lost a lot of races on this track. And at the time I was stuck in the mindset that my value was based on my most recent performance, which left me with the highest of highs and the lowest of lows at the time. I didn't realize at the time that winning every single race was not sustainable. It just really was not possible. And that very much like the seasons of the year, winning and losing and good performances and poor performances must come together. I was living under the mindset of continuous improvement, but in the end I really had it wrong because continuous improvement doesn't mean better than the last time every time. Continuous improvement includes highs and it includes lows, it includes successes and it includes struggles. It includes the good and it includes the bad. And then all together, we move toward becoming a better person. So like I said, highs and lows can come just like the seasons do and take a long time to get from highs to lows. But highs and lows can also happen in the matter of minutes or hours leaving someone with the highest of highs and lowest of lows in a very short amount of time. Again, I'll stress that highs and lows have to come together. They are all a part of the process of becoming a better human being. And I'll also stress that it's important to remember that we are not valued only on our most recent performance. Our most recent performance might be a serious struggle. So think about a movie that you've gone to um, where you really, really have rooted for the underdog. Do you love that character because in the end they win? Or do you love that character in the end because of the struggle to move past a barrier or a setback? Well, I'd argue that we actually love that person because at one time they found success, but then they had serious struggle and moved past it. In the end, we really aren't caring a whole lot about the winning we're caring about them being a human and being very vulnerable and very real like the rest of us and having struggles and doing our best to persevere highs and lows can happen in all kinds of parts of our lives it can happen uh, personally professionally it can happen with athletics it can happen with hobbies it can happen with life events. Right now, a lot of people are feeling like they're very much in a low because of being stuck at home and distance learning and unemployment. But it's also extremely important to remember to look for the highs, to look for the good things, because there are a lot of extremely good things going on right now. If you don't look for them, you might not see them. But when you do look and you find them, you realize that, things are actually going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Those highs and those good things far outweigh the negatives or the lows that we experience. My challenge for you, thinking through your life, what are the things that might be low for you? And what are the things that might be high for you? How do you move past the lows to celebrate the highs? And how do they work together to make you the person that you are today? I wish you well. Talk to you soon.